I have seen countless numbers of emails from foreign women who are married to Nigerian men asking questions about what to make for dinner if you're married to one. I am married to an Igbo man. What do I make for breakfast? You know, stuff like that. I'm used to seeing them. But I want you to understand that Igbo foods are easy and simple to make. In case you are dated or married to a Nigerian man or you are friends with people that come from the Igbo land, of course, they would accept almost any deliciously made cuisine, you know, uh, when you serve it to them. But a surprise treat would indeed go a long way in fulfilling their days. The Igbos are natively referred to as Indibo, are one of the ethnic groups in Nigeria, West Africa. They are majorly based in the southeastern part of Nigeria and are a large ethnic group found around Africa and beyond. They have festivals and ceremonies outlined for different purposes, one of which is the New Yam Festival, celebrated to show their thanks for the rich harvest. On occasions like this, the serenade with redeeming drum bits and roasting of new yams. Igbos are lovers of ceremonies and will as such show up in their best outfits. <laughs> They have an array of colorful attire and styles, one of which is known as Isiago. It is usually patterned with lion's head embroidered or printed over the clothing. For the men, it is often styled into a top or dashiki, worn with trousers and adorned with either a traditional title holder's hat or the traditional Igbo shipment hat. For the women, an embroidered puff sleeve blouse is made with it and worn with two wrappers and a nicely tied head scarf. Indie bows are business oriented people which puts them at the forefront of the economy. They are also skilled farmers, traders, local craft artists, bead makers to mention a few. In terms of music, they deal in rhythm which consists of drums, flutes, ogini, iba, ichaka, amongst others. Actually, they also love the high life genre of music, jazz, and traditional music. One area where the Igbos are famous in is their culture. Their soups, especially, are a major trademark. They are well known for a variety of soup made from locally grown vegetables, fruits, and seeds. Have a glimpse at some of them. Today on Bon Appetit, we shall be learning how to prepare one of the soups Grab your notepad and stay glued to your screen. If you are a Nigerian or have visited Nigeria at one time or another, you probably know what soups are used for. Soups in Nigeria serve as a common denominator for eating several other Nigerian foods. The popular staples 
Eba Gari. Fufu and Pando Yam don't go without a delicious plate of soups. Today, we shall be preparing Ofe Onubu, a popular soup among the Southeast and South South Nigerians. To do that, I have with me Chef Gimbia. I am pleased to be in your kitchen. I'm glad you're here too. Mm, it makes me really happy each time I have to, you know, have a brand new guest chef on Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. So can you take us through the array of ingredients we'll be using today? Okay. Um, we are making Ofe Onubu, that is bitter leaf soup. And to serve Ofe Onubu today, we are going to be using fufu. Okay. Fufu is um, already pre-cooked. It's done on an industrial scale. So you buy them as so. And we are going to still work on it a bit. Then we also have the bitter leaf. Um, we have bitter leaf, we have goat meat, we have cocoa yam, fresh cocoa yam actually. Then we also have cocoa yam powder. We have stockfish, we have palm oil, we have grounded crayfish. We have scotch bonnets and onions. They've already been pounded. We also have onions to boil our goat meat. We also have salt, bouillon cubes, and ogiri. Mm. These are our spices. Okay. Ogiri is local to the Igbos. Yes. Yes. But you see, I see here you have the um, fresh um, cocoa yams. Yam. Yes. And also, you also have the powder. Yes. Together, Do they go together? Yes, they go together. You could use mm. them together. I prefer to use them together to give the right consistency. Mm for this soup. Okay, mm. but they could also be used separately. Yes, they can be used separately. Mm. So let's see how you do yours. If you're just joining us, it's Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. So over to you, Chef Gimbia. Okay, to begin, we're going to first boil our goat meat. We have our pot over here. Then we want onions, some bouillon cubes. You just want to use four bouillon cubes for this. And some salt to taste. Then we'll be adding water, just a bit of water. You don't want too much water. The water's been heated. Yes. And we can start our fire. Hmm. While this is going on... For how long is it going to cook, Chef? It should cook for about 30 minutes. Okay. So next we are going to boil our cocoa yam and peel it. Okay. Yeah. So we're also going to be adding some hot water, water to it. Cocoa yam boils for about 20 minutes. Okay. So it will be ready just about the same time. Yes, with, with the, the goat's meat. meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next, we are going to prepare our bitter leaf. Okay. We are going to rinse and wash this properly. Any impurities can just separate from the leaves. leaves yes. Begin yes. To squeeze it. Uh, you don't necessarily need to squeeze it because for bitter leaf you want the leaves to be whole. You mm. don't want them to be pieces. So that's why we are boiling instead of squeezing. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
We are going to be boiling the bitter leaf. So as that is going on, we are going to add the stock fish to the goat meat. Ten minutes, just when the goat meat is ready to come off the heat. Okay. At this point, the cocoa yam is ready. Okay. And we are going to change the water so that we can peel it and blend it. Okay. Yes. The leaf is almost ready. We're just going to give it like three more minutes. Okay. Then we'll so get we back. quickly do the blending. Yeah, so let's just quickly do the blending. We need enough water to blend it. Soft, it looks like pap. Yes. <laughs> you don't want lumps in your soup. Hmm. So it's really it's smooth. So fine. Yeah. If you don't have a blender, you can just pound it. Okay. Yes. If you pound it, it will still be really nice. So your mortar and pistol will be just fine. Yes. Okay. We're going right ahead to check the goat meat. Mm. I'm sure you can perceive the oh stock fish. God. Mm -hmm. Our goat meat is soft enough, so we are just going to bring this off the heat mm. for now. So we'll also check our bitter leaf. I think our bitter leaf is ready also. Okay. And we are going to bring it off the heat and blanch it. Okay. It's ready. Okay. We are going to taste it. No, it's ready. Mm, if the bitterness has reduced yes, gas you don't want that sharp bitter taste. There's this sweet aftertaste. Exactly. Yes. Oh, I thought I was the only one who yeah. used to have that. Hmm. Okay, yes. It's ready. We just want to squeeze out the excess water from the leaves because we don't want to add more liquid to our soup okay so we're going to start with the bigger pot okay so we'll switch position yes we're going okay. to do that we're going to begin with the palm oil let me pass it make myself useful thank you Next is the scotch bonnet. Here, Chef. These are scotch bonnets and onions. And we'll allow it to fry for a bit. Can you pass the crayfish? There you go. Then we'll add the bouillon cubes now. Mm. 
I think just four is enough. So we want to put ogiri. Ogiri comes from the east. I wonder, I don't know how they make it, but it has a very strong flavor. Pungent one at that, but yes. very sweet when, <laughs> after being cooked. Yes. Mm, I agree. I'd advise you, don't let your hands touch it. You just want to get it straight into the pot. So we're going to add the stock fish and goat meat. I usually like to do this with a spoon. A wooden spoon? Yes. Why is that, Chef? So that it doesn't scratch the pot mm. and spoil it because the pot is non-stick. If you use iron spoon, before you know it, the pot is burnt, spoiled, and it begins to burn. Of course. going to let that simmer, right? Yes. For how long? For about three minutes while our kettle is getting warm. Then we'll add hot water to it. Okay. Well done, Chef. Thank you. Okay, so our sauce is cooked, right? Now we just want to add water, the right quantity of water that we would need to cook the soup, bearing in mind that we used water to blend the, the cocoa yam. Yes. So um, we're, we're now going to add the cocoa yam, the blended cocoa yam. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Just mix it. You can see the bits. It's still. It's not it's thick enough. Thickening, yes. it's, but it's thickening. Not thick enough. No, it's not. But we're going to allow it to boil a bit, hmm. so we know the right consistency. We need to add more of the powder thickener. Hmm. It's still light. It's still light. Mm. So we need to add the powdered okay. one. Okay. But this fresh one gives it that fresh flavor, cocoa yam flavor. Okay. So we're going to mix the other one, the powder with some water. What kind of water? Cold water. Okay. If you use hot water, it would coagulate before it gets into the pot. Oh, wow. Yes. We can add it in bits. We wouldn't want to mix everything at once so that it won't get too thick. Okay. You just want to make sure everything is dissolved. Smooth paste. Yes, it's smooth. You want to check it? Mm -hmm. yeah, but I can see already. This is now doing it the northern way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you want to stir as you're adding so that it doesn't form lumps. Oh yes, lumps. Okay. Mm. You can see it's already thick. Looks like making pap. Yes. <laughs> just have that behind your mind. It's mm -hmm. like you're making pap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, for the fufu, we are going to boil it for about 10 minutes. We want it to be soft and poundable. Oh, okay, we are going to pound this. Yes, we are going to pound mm. it. So, in the wrap, we just put it into the pot. Then we we'll put it on the heat. For, for about 10 minutes okay. when it's hot and soft then we can pound it okay yes the next thing is to pound our fufu okay. can bring it off it? the heat it's steamed it's boiled for about 10 minutes like we said earlier wow oh. Should I start pounding? Yes, you can. Okay. It's hmm. We are going to scoop the fufu into our bowl. the soup yes we're going to be transferring our soup into a soup dish hmm. it looks really sumptuous thank you <laughs> Can you assist us take the soup sure. today? Why not? All right, my esteemed viewer. On the program, Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. If you've been following, you saw the procedure for the preparation of Ofe Olubu, which is served right here with Fufu by our amiable chef here, Chef Gimbia. It's my favorite time on the program, Chef Gimbia. Over to you now. Dish it out so I get to devour it. Okay. <laughs> mm, that's okay. That's okay? That's okay. Okay. It's sitting pretty. Whoa. Beautiful. I can't wait to eat it. Please, mm. Chef. This is stretchy. Thank you. And soft. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's fantastic. Thank you. And it's not smelly like they say. They say fufu <laughs> smell. It's not this smelly. is not smelly at all. And it's really, really soft. I'm it's glad almost you're like enjoying eating this. pounded yam. Yes. Well done, Chef. Thank you very You've much. You've done really well. Thank you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I like fufu. It's a very heavy food and available here in Nigeria. It's best enjoyed in the afternoon or uh, many hours before going to bed. Those of you who are health conscious will agree with me that fufu is really, really heavy. And as such, for obvious reasons, you should avoid eating it before going to bed. Yes. You shouldn't go to bed immediately after eating it. 
Well done, Chef. Thank I hope you. that when next we come to your kitchen, you'll be willing to have us again on of your program. Of course, of course. On this I, program. Yes. We will also be gracious to have you as our guest chef on another episode of Bon Appetit! A culinary adventure. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Chef. Give me a Thank you. <laughs>I love to focus more on the foods eaten by different Nigerian and African tribes. But that is not to say that some of these cuisines are not eaten all over the regions of the country or continent. What makes them different is the style and method of preparation. Be my guest same time next week on the program Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. See you then. God bless you.